Hello and welcome to The Real Deal. Now, while baseball might not have the devoted following it enjoys in the States, the UK has certainly embraced Hollywood's attempts to bring its big-hitting, big-hearted drama to the silver screen. In Million Dollar Arm, based on the true story of Rinku Singh and Dinesh Patel, we follow the reality TV winning pair as they travel to the US under the tutelage of a sports agent played by John Hamm, an attempt to break in to the major leagues. Exciting, I know. To celebrate its release this week, we're going to take a look at baseball's most enjoyable outings in film. We begin our top five with a league of their own. Director Penny Marshall's female eye view of this traditionally masculine game. A bad-tempered, heavy-drinking Tom Hanks takes control of an all-girl professional baseball team during the 1940s, when most of the men are sadly away in Europe fighting in a war. The ensemble cast are a delight, with Gina Davis's Dottie Hinson keeping the misfit group in check. The feisty Madonna and smart-mouthed Rosie O'Donnell are also great, as these ladies give the American public something to smile about in a time of war. Another drunk shows up in our film at four, naturally. The Bad News Bears takes us from the Major League to the Little League, as alcoholic former pro Morris Buttermaker, great name, and played with disgruntled contempt by the brilliant Walter Methow, becomes the unlikely coach of a cobbled together group of supposedly talentless kids. Buttermaker's perennially inebriated state is one of many hurdles the new coach has to overcome. This is a bitter, darkly amusing look at the competitiveness of American sport, even at the youngest levels, when the preteen players just really want to have some fun. Baseball is the backdrop to a coming-of-age tale in our film at three, The Sandlot. This is the stand-by-me of baseball movies, as a group of young friends spend the summer together enjoying the odd misadventure while trying to perfect their baseball swing. This enjoyable family comedy captures the nostalgic rose-tinted view we have of long summer holidays as kids, while its warm heart and optimistic view of growing up will surely bring a smile to audiences forgiving of its sentimental approach. Okay, okay, speaking of sentimentality, you don't get more sugar-coated than our film at number two, Field of Dreams. This Kevin Costner starring fantasy drama about a whimsical down-on-his-luck farmer who decides to build a baseball diamond in his cornfield is a warming concoction of fatherhood, family, and the pursuit of your goals, however bonkers they might be. Baseball is the perfect backdrop to this imaginative story, highlighting the sport's role in the American cultural psyche. And that role cannot be expressed any more perfectly than in our number one baseball film, Bull Durham. Kevin Costner stars again, absolutely loves it, doesn't he? This time as veteran catcher Crash Davis, who's sent to minor league team, the Durham Bulls, to mentor live wire rookie, Nuke Lelouch. The pair's strained relationship is pushed to breaking point by the ups and downs of the team season and the allure of Susan Sarandon's Annie, who's baseball's version of a groupie. She's terrific as the sexually charged, self-proclaimed spiritual seeker who chooses one player every year to be her lover and the student of what she calls the Church of Baseball. The only real romance on show is for the game itself, but this funny, bittersweet film has a delightful main cast. And by focusing on its characters rather than the sport, it's a baseball film that everybody can enjoy. That's it for this real rundown of films. As ever, Huge thanks to top10films.co.uk for their awesome list of movies. And as ever, you can get The Real Deal on Film by checking out our website, therealdealonfilm.com, and tweeting us at The Real Film Show. I'm Joe Crash Forrester. See you next time.